Hello students, in today's session we are going to discuss the process of photosynthesis in higher plants. Before that, let me tell you children, we should appreciate presence of plants and trees around us. In totality, the plant kingdom is really important for us. Of course, it gives us food, shade, many other things in addition to oxygen, which we definitely require for our respiration. So what this photosynthesis is? This is the process by which the plants will make their own food and also food for us. In addition, will give us oxygen also. Oxygen and food and also for shelter we use plants, plant material to make houses and other things. Coming to the food first, the tree is making food through photosynthesis. That means tree is able to use light as energy to make its own food. Think of the food chain which is operating on this earth. Food chain on earth begins from sun, then comes the tree and after tree or vegetation will come the first organism which will eat the food produced by plant and then other animals which have eaten on these animals. For example, if wheat is produced in the field, now wheat plant had taken sunlight through photosynthesis and produce the food in the form of wheat grains. Now this wheat grain is suppose eaten by rat, then rat was eaten by cat, cat was eaten by dog and dog is eaten by some other bigger animal. All these are placed in the food chain one after another depending upon who is eating whom. But if you try to understand in detail whatever the point of eating food may be there but eventually it is coming from sun. Suppose cat has eaten the rat, then rat had eaten wheat and wheat was coming from plant and plant could make it through sunlight. So what I am trying to make you understand children is that photosynthesis is the process which makes it possible for food chain to run on earth and also food web. Coming to photosynthesis. This is a process where plant will use carbon dioxide, water in the presence of sunlight will convert it to starch which is stored in the plant and it is glucose is stored as a starch and oxygen is given out. We have to understand the process, how it is happening, how oxygen is produced, what is the source of oxygen in this reaction. First of all, this is possible in plant only in green areas, especially leaf, which has pigment, which can trap sunlight. But yes, any part of the plant which is green in color may be able to perform this activity of photosynthesis to some extent, but we know that main green part of the plant is leaf. Photosynthesis which is a physico chemical process, physical because physically light is trapped into the plant and chemical because chemical reaction is taking place for production of food and oxygen and it is only possible in case of green plants. You can see in this slide that food we can get only for plant, only green plants can enter into the process of photosynthesis and as I told you it is a physico chemical process and use of light energy is must, presence of sun is must, please appreciate the presence of sun in our system and synthesis of organic compound will mean synthesis of food in the plant which is in the form of carbohydrate. With this background, we move forward to understand the process of photosynthesis. For photosynthesis to occur, 
the major requirement is sunlight which plants are trapping from sun. Then the carbon dioxide which we are giving out in our respiratory process, we are taking in oxygen giving out carbon dioxide and then water. As is shown in this diagram in this slide, the water is absorbed by plant roots and it moves towards the leaves, towards the apex of the tree. So it is available in the leaf. Carbon dioxide is absorbed from atmosphere and when these two items are available that is H2O water and CO2 carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight it is converted to glucose or carbohydrate C6 H12O6 plus oxygen O2. What is the source of oxygen in this? Is it H2O or is it CO2? Because both the items are having oxygen. It is proved beyond doubt that the source is water. The oxygen which is given out by plant which we use for respiration the source is H2O and not CO2. So these are the basic requirement for photosynthesis which are met with. If one of the three is not available then photosynthesis is not possible. That is why during the night time when sun is not there photosynthesis will not take place.